Okay, so there are a lot of web browsers out there, but one web browser I think that everyone should check out eventually is Cute Browser. And what Cute Browser is, is it's a keyboard driven web browser that uses Vim keys. And if you watch my video on Vim, you'll you'll be right at home with this. Or if you if you use Vim regularly, you'll be right at home uh, with this because it's very intuitive for Vim users. But it's also a very simple web browser. As you can see, it's all all, all displays is the web page and usually just a little status bar at the bottom. So let's actually go ahead and do something. So I'm gonna go. You can press O to open a new page or open a link. And let's just let's search USA. And as you can see, we have search results. Um, one thing that Cute Browser is very good at is replacing the mouse for clicking links. So instead of using the mouse to you know click links and all that, we can actually just go ahead and press F. And this will bring up all these little hints right here. And I can go ahead, if I want to go to the Wikipedia article, I can press GH and it'll go ahead and go to that page. And of course you can scroll down using J and scroll up using K and left and right, of course. Uh, if you want to go back, you can do capital H to go back and you know move around. Uh, one other thing that um, cute browser uh, you can do with cute browser is you can actually go ahead and configure it in Python since it since cute browser is written in Python. So let's go ahead and pull that up. And you can actually configure it using Python, as you can see. You can, uh, which means you can add if-else statements or conditional logic stuff like that. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I plan to expand my config eventually. You can you can do a lot of stuff with this browser, as you can see. Uh, for example, you, there's a there's a very good dark mode. That's one other thing Cube Browser has. But for example, I have a setting where uh, my tabs will only show if I have more than one tab, which is pretty nice. In fact, here, I'm going to open a new page. And as you can see, there are two tabs now. Uh, I can switch between them. But yeah, also, oh, one great thing that Cube Browser can do, um, you can also define custom search engines like any browser. So let's, let's look up something on YouTube. I'm going to look up, let's stick with the theme USA. And as you can see, oh, some pretty interesting videos. Uh, let's do this one right here. Ten reasons not to move to the USA. So I have a key binding right here. So if I press E, it'll pull up all these hints. So let's do KJ and give it a moment. It has to load, of course. And what it does is it opens up the YouTube video in MPV, which is pretty cool. Because which means you don't have to watch. Um, videos in your web browser. You can just use your native video application, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh, of course, I'm not going to watch it right now. Uh, but you can also do things like download images without using a mouse at all. So for example, I'm going to look up USA. Stick with the theme, of course. And let's go to images. And let's download this one right here. Uh, Let's download this image right here. So I have a key binding right here, capital I. If I press that, you'll see the hints will pop up again. And I can press LA, and it'll prompt me to select where I want to download it to. And so I'll download it as USA.jpg. Okay, and it's downloaded. So let's actually go ahead and view that. So let's go to my downloads. And as you can see, the picture's there. Let's go ahead and View it. And yep, that's the picture that I downloaded. Pretty cool. Downloading pictures without using a single click of the mouse. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and move that. And okay, so that's that's Cute Browser. There are a lot more things you can do with this browser. Like I think, yeah, Cute Browser does have ad blocking by default, which is pretty nice because a lot of people that I don't, I know, don't know how to use ad blockers. So that's a pretty neat feature to have built in. It also has a lot more features you can add to it. Like you, the possibilities for this browser are pretty much limitless. 
And my only gripe with it is that it's written in Python, but otherwise, absolutely amazing browser. I definitely will be moving to this later on. Uh, I'll definitely be moving from Firefox to this. This is a great browser, and I definitely recommend it.